Good day and welcome to today's training video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the basics around Microsoft Access. So here I have a database that is already open. And on the left hand side, we'll see what is a navigation pane. Now you'll also see there are names like tables, queries, forms and reports. And they all have little down arrows on the right hand side of them. That indicates that inside that grouping, there are a number of items. So if I click on it, you'll see that's the grouping tables and there are three tables inside of that. So I can go and click on that and I can go and open that particular table. Uh, inside of queries, there's a number of queries here and I can close or open that grouping. Um, the same for forms and of course the same then applies to reports. So on the left hand side, I can see everything that's actually inside of this whole database. Um, on top, I can see the name of the database and in some cases where it's located. Then underneath that, I've got my ribbon area, okay, and my different tabs on top here as well. Now, let's go into a table. Let's, let's just look at this. So some of the basics are, are as follows. Um, the right hand side of your screen, the majority here, will obviously display um, the content of what we have on the left hand side. So if I go to tables and CD table and I double click on it, I will then have this open up on the right hand side over here. So what you see in a basic table, you'll see our top row with artist, CD name and genre. These individual items are our fields. Um, simply put, they are basically our, our headings. Okay, so these are the different fields that we've created and um, we can go and actually edit this um, to say what we want inside of these fields. Okay, so that's the layout over there. You'll see we have columns that our fields are sorted into and then we have rows. Now, each one of these rows with that data in it represents what we call a record. Okay. Then at the bottom, you'll see, um, they show you a record. Um, the first button can take us back to the first record. In other words, the first entry that we have there. And this button over here takes us to the last record. But you can see this section over here with the numbers in it shows us that we have 290 records. In other words, there are 290 pieces of data um, that has been entered into this whole table. Um, we've also got a section here that deals with any filters, but I'm going to deal uh, with that in a different video. I can also go and search for a particular record. So let's say I type in um, rock, for example, you'll see it highlights that genre over there. All right, I can go and look for something in a particular record as well. And then I've got my slider that just um, takes me through the record in case like here in this in this scenario I can't see what's there so I can merely um, just move my slider over there I can also on the right hand side scroll down um, through the various records and then um, as I have gone through in another video um, I've looked at the different views under the home tab our data sheet view and design view Everything else, you know, things like our, our, our text formatting, finding something, those are things that we by now should be familiar with, um, with regards to Microsoft Word. So a lot of these things are familiar, but then some of the others, when we start moving onto these tabs, uh, are obviously a lot different because we are dealing with Microsoft Excel. So these are the basics of just looking at um, our, our data, our records, our fields, the navigation and how to get around in access.